Going back in September, researchers at the Large Hadron Collider made a big announcement. They said that the Large Hadron Collider had found proof of high-energy particles, and that matter had been produced from light. Simone Pagan Grizo, a researcher at the US Department of Energy's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, said the following. If you go back and look at Maxwell's equations for classical electromagneticism, you'll see that two colliding waves sum up to a bigger wave. We only see these two phenomena recently observed by Atlas, when we put together Maxwell's equations with special relativity, and quantum mechanics and the so-called theory of quantum electrodynamics. End quote. Alessandro Tricoli, a researcher at Brooklyn Haven National Laboratory, had this to say. If you read the equation of E equals mc squared from right to left, you'll see that a small amount of mass produces a huge amount of energy because of the c squared constant, which is the speed of light squared. But if you look at the formula the other way around, you'll see that you need to start with a huge amount of energy to produce even a tiny amount of mass. One of the issues when these types of discoveries are made is that many of us don't understand it. These scientists and researchers are experimenting with things that the majority of us don't understand, and it can be worrying when they're conducting these types of experiments, because sometimes they're going into uncharted territory. For those unaware, the Large Hadron Collider was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN. It's the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It started up on the 10th of September 2008, and remains the latest addition to CERN's accelerator complex. The Large Hadron Collider consists of a 27km ring of superconducting magnets, with a number of accelerating structures to boost the energy of the particles along the way. CERN, the European Physics Research Centre, recently upgraded the Large Hadron Collider. The upgrade comes six years after the Collider managed to provide scientists with answers to a riddle when it confirmed the Higgs boson exists. Scientists claim the upgrade would help in boosting luminosity of proton smashing experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, which can be found 17 miles underneath the border of Switzerland and France. It should help to boost the amount of particle collision tenfold, which would give them a much clearer picture of the subatomic world. It's just been announced though that a new super collider has been approved by CERN, and what's interesting is that it means the current one now looks tiny. The new collider will have a circumference of over 62 miles, meaning it will be four times bigger and much more powerful than the current one. However, this isn't going to be cheap, with researchers estimating it's going to cost around $23 billion. CERN said the following about the news. Such a machine would produce copious amounts of Higgs bosons in a very clean environment. It would make dramatic progress in mapping the diverse interactions of the Higgs boson with other particles, and allow measurements of extremely high precision. They continued with the following on their website. The future circular collider study is developing designs for a high performance collider, to extend the research currently being conducted at the Large Hadron Collider, once the latter reaches the end of its lifespan. The goal of the FCC is to greatly push the energy and intensity frontiers of particle colliders, with the aim of reaching collision energies of 100 TeVs, or tera electron volts. This is in the search for new physics. The FCC study hosted by CERN is an international collaboration of more than 150 universities, research institutes and industrial partners from all around the world. The study will elaborate on different possibilities for circular colliders, new detector facilities, the associated infrastructure cost estimates, global implementation scenarios, as well as appropriate international governance structures. The FCC examines scenarios for three different types of particle collisions, hadron, proton-proton and heavy iron, collisions like in the Large Hadron Collider, electron-positron collisions, as in the former LEP, and proton-electron collisions. One question that many people have asked is where is this money coming from? 
Officials said they will be getting backing from EU members of Stains. But if it comes to it, they may have to reach out to countries like China. For years now, there's been worries that this machine might create something devastating. Various media outlets suggested this machine could be capable of creating a black hole, with CERN themselves admitting that although this is unlikely, it could happen. CERN have even said it would be great for science if this happened, as it would give them a chance to study possible extra dimensions. This discovery comes not long after researchers said they want to open a portal to another dimension. The researchers have said they're coming to the end of building a large piece of equipment that will help them test this, saying that they're looking forward to using this piece of equipment. One of the researchers on board have said they hope to discover something they call a hidden shadow world. They have described this as a concealed mirror world. However, it's hard for many to understand this as no hard evidence for this exists. Once again, it's caused worry among some as they don't think we should be messing around with these sorts of things. Some have suggested that what researchers in Tennessee are talking about is actually dark matter. Scientists are quite open about dark matter, and have expressed they don't really know what it is. According to some studies though, dark matter makes up roughly 85% of the matter in the universe. Though this strange form of matter or energy can't be observed, by understanding the movements of stars, it was made obvious to researchers that there was a large amount of mass not accounted for within our galactic supercluster. Understanding what it is, why it can't be detected, and all of its strange properties could be the key to understanding big questions about the nature of our universe. Now that scientists have discovered and identified the Higgs boson, they are now trying to unravel another mystery. This comes in the form of particles from the dark world. The researchers are now trying to make measurements and simulations of dark matter. So what do you guys make of the Large Hadron Collider and the various experiments being conducted? Do you think we should be carrying out these tests? Or do you think we shouldn't be messing with things we don't fully understand? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.